graphing systems with linear inequalities on a graphing calculator using an equal application. If you have a TI-84 Plus or TI-84 Plus Silver Edition graphing calculator, you have a standard application that can graph that very thing that you might have had trouble with, linear inequalities. To check if you have it, press the Apps key, then scroll down with the down arrow until you get to the application labeled in equal or in equals. If somehow this application has been deleted from your calculator, or even if you have a TI-83 or a TI-83 Plus calculator, you can download the application free from TI, and I'm including a link in the description area to that earlier video that I recorded so you can watch it and see my pretty detailed downloading instructions toward the end of that video. To activate N equal, press Enter. As instructed, press any key. Let's graph a system of linear inequalities. We have the inequalities y is greater than negative 2x plus 4 and y is less than or equal to x minus 2. We enter the correct sign by pressing the alpha key first, that green key on the left. Then to enter the first inequality, we choose the greater than sign by pressing the function key right below the greater than sign at the bottom of the view screen, and that would be the trace key. Now three things have happened. First, the greater than sign is inserted. Secondly, the upward triangle is shown to the left, shading above that line. And finally, harder to see, but just as important, is the little diagonal dotted line representing greater than. Now we can enter the right side of the inequality, negative 2x plus 4. Now we can graph by pressing graph or zoom 6. We see the dashed line with the shaded area above the dashed line. Let's go back to y equals to enter our second inequality. Arrow down once to get to y2. Enter the second inequality by pressing alpha. Then the less than or equal to sign by pressing the center button or zoom key at the top of the function buttons. Now you see the correct sign and the down triangle and the solid version of the line just above that triangle. Now enter the right side of the inequality, x minus 2. Press graph. The solution set is the double shaded triangle to the right between quadrants 1 and 4. And the solid line segment at the upper edge in orange here, which represents the less than or equal to sign of the second inequality. And the boundary edge at the bottom of the triangle is a dashed line representing the greater than symbol of the first inequality. To evaluate possible solutions, you can use the free cursor by accessing the arrows in all four directions. Here's the cursor, it's hard to see, and the coordinates of that cursor below show a solution because the point being evaluated is in the double shaded area. Here's the next system of equation of inequalities we'll look at today. y is greater than 1 half plus 1 and y is less than 1 half x minus 3. Let's enter the inequalities by going back to y equals. Enter the greater than sign by pressing alpha. Then the trace key below the greater than sign on the view screen. Now enter the right side of the top inequality, 1 half x plus 1. We can graph it to see what it looks like by pressing graph or zoom 6. Note the dashed line representing greater than. We can go to our second inequality by pressing y equals again. Arrow down once to get to y2. Enter the less than sign by pressing alpha. Then the less than symbol by pressing the window key right below the less than symbol on the view screen. Now enter the right side of the inequality, 1 half x minus 3. Now we can press graph. What is the solution set for this system of inequalities? The two shaded areas never overlap, but are bounded by two dashed parallel lines. There are therefore no solutions to this system of inequalities. There is not a single point on the coordinate plane that satisfies both inequalities. Let's try one more. y is less than or equal to 3x minus 4, and y is greater than negative 2x plus 3. Stop the video and graph these inequalities. Try to identify the solutions to this system of inequalities. Restart the video to see if you graphed them correctly. Here are the inequalities entered in y equals. And here they are graphed. 
The solution set is the double hatched area on the right along with the solid line segment at the top of the area. The solid line segment represents the less than or equal to sign of the first inequality. And this remaining boundary line at the bottom of the triangle is a dashed line representing the greater than symbol of the second inequality. In closing, I'd like to go over a few things. When you're in an equal or an equals, you will need to press the alpha key first before pressing one of the five keys at the top to select the right symbol. Occasionally, I have students ask me how to enter an x equals, or x is greater than, inequality in the graphing calculator. While in n equal, you can enter an x equals, x is greater than, x is less than, equation, or inequality. Just arrow up once until the cursor is over the x equals symbol. Press enter. Now you have x1 equals through x6 at the left of the view screen. You can choose an inequality symbol by pressing alpha, then greater than, for instance. Then go over and enter a number, like 3, for instance. Press graph. You can see here graphed x is greater than 3. Finally, to get out of an equal, press the apps key, scroll down to the inequal application, press enter. Scroll down to quit inequal, press enter. You are now out of inequal. Your calculator is back to normal, no longer possessed by inequal. This has been Graphing Systems of Linear Inequalities on a Graphing Calculator Using an Equal. Thanks for viewing.